Friends, today is uh, Thursday, December 8th, 2022. We were uh, plowing along in this great uh, conclusion of the first chapter of Matthew. And we're going to look at verses 20 and 21 today as we continue to examine the figure of Joseph. Joseph has decided to abandon his original plan to marry Mary. There's public pressure. There's also some righteous indignation. And then there's an intervention and it happens at night. Let's listen for the word of the Lord. Just when Joseph had resolved to divorce Mary quietly, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. It's interesting. The angel senses is revealing that he understands, God understands that Joseph is afraid of what would happen, how complicated his life would be, how messy his relationship with Mary, how there would be familial and public disapproval. He's afraid of it. Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. The story she's been telling you is true. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus. He will save his people from their sins. Jesus, the name Jesus is a a way of saying the Hebrew name Joshua, and Joshua is, of course, a a savior figure in the Old Testament. It it, it means God saves his name, and indeed, the figure of Joshua was the one who led the people out of the wilderness into the promised land. Uh, So that's a special name that that Joseph is to give his child. Joseph is encouraged not to abandon his plans. Uh, God calls him back. It's really plan C, (laughs) but it's, 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 plan C is a version of plan A. It's back to his original plan, but now it's, of course, a more complicated situation. He's instructed to marry Mary, to become her husband, and to raise this child, to name the child, to claim the child as his, adopt the child. And sometimes in the kingdom, we have to keep hard promises. And we have to display in those moments something of God's unending faithfulness, his hesed, his covenant loyalty, despite the fact that we let him down. And um, sometimes that means our lives are going to become more complicated and more difficult. I mean, this looks to Joseph like a personal and social calamity. And indeed, his life is going to be harder. It's not going to be more comfortable and easier and more secure because uh, caring for the Messiah is going to put him in all kinds of dangers and and difficulties. Uh, The the hard journey to Bethlehem, the, uh, the opposition from the homicidal Herod, Uh, parenting under public pressure. But the dream of God and the reward of God is greater because Joseph is going to go from a guy who wanted to live a quiet and faithful life in this small village to a world-famous figure who, who connects to God's greatest historical action. He helps to father God in the flesh. And this is, um, this is an amazing calling that, that uh, changes the whole arc of his life. Let's take a moment and pray. Lord, we know that we're not called to live uh, lives of mythical perfection, but to be faithful in the things you ask us to do. We want to be promise keepers and covenant honorers. So help us to be steadfast and faithful when it's easier to quit and move on. And so we ask that your hesed, your loyalty will live in us. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.